Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial series on Newton's Laws. The topic of this video is mass versus weight. Here's the questions we wish to answer. What is mass and what is weight? How are they different and how are they related? Let's get going. So what is mass? I like to think of mass as the amount of stuff present in the object. Objects are made of atoms and there's many different types of atoms. We refer to these as elements. And so if we want to find the mass of an object, say a person, what we have to do is count all the atoms of carbon and all the atoms of hydrogen and all the atoms of oxygen and so forth. We have to find the cumulative mass of all of these atoms. The stuff is made of atoms and what we're finding is the mass of all those atoms. When we're done we get the mass of an object and the standard metric unit for that mass would be the kilogram abbreviated kg. When it comes to mass here's the important thing. It's independent of the location of that object. So if you had a one kilogram object the mass of that object would be one kilogram everywhere. It'd be one kilogram at all locations on Earth. If you took the same amount of stuff to the moon, it'd still be a kilogram. It's independent of the location of that mass. If mass is the amount of stuff present in an object, then weight is the force of gravity that acts upon all this stuff. Weight is the force of gravity, and as such, we sometimes give it the symbol F for force and grab for gravity. Weight, being a force, is measured in units of force, like the Newton. Many of us are more familiar with another unit of force known as the pound. The pound is the non-metric unit of force, whereas the Newton is the metric unit of force. Here's the deal with weight. Weight is a location-dependent quantity, unlike mass. A 250 Newton person on Earth won't weigh 250 Newtons on the surface of the Moon. Weight depends upon location. So mass does not depend upon location, but weight does. So let's consider the weights of a 50 kilogram object on the various planets of the solar system. We're going to begin with the innermost planet, Mercury, and work ourselves outwards to Neptune. We're going to see a lot of information in these images. We'll go pretty quick as we go through them. So here's a 50 kilogram person on Mercury, weighs 180 newtons, but on Venus weighs 441 newtons. The same 50 kilogram person person on planet Earth would weigh 490 newtons just to give you a feel. This is a 110 pound person. Now a 50 kilogram person on Mars would weigh 188 newtons. On Jupiter, 1302 newtons. Put the person on Saturn, 560 newtons. And then go to Uranus, it's 452 newtons. And finally Neptune, 567 newtons. If we summarize this person, what we notice is that this 50 kilogram person has a mass of 50 kilograms everywhere in the universe, but the weight varies considerably from 180 newtons on Mercury upwards towards 1302 newtons on Jupiter. Weight depends upon the location. So what is it that causes the weight of a 50 kilogram person to depend upon the location where it's at? Why is it different on different planets? The answer is obviously tied to the topic of gravitation or gravity. After all, the weight of an object is the force of gravity acting upon the object. And different planets have different gravitational environments. Here in this table we see the mass of a 50 kilogram person and their weight at four different locations, on the Earth, on the Moon, on Venus, and on Jupiter. And what we notice in the last column is the ratio is calculated for the f grab to mass ratio. This ratio is unique for every planet and is independent of the actual object. We refer to it as the gravitational field strength, and in physics we give it its own symbol. It's called g. So we've learned how mass and weight are different, but how are they related? It ends up that they're related by an equation that goes f grab equal m times g. In this equation, f grab refers to the force of gravity or the weight of an object. m refers to the mass in units of kilograms, and g is the gravitational field strength. The gravitational field strength is that quantity which is dependent only upon the location and on planet Earth, 
it's 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So as you see here in this photo, if we took a one kilogram object and placed it on a spring scale, that spring scale would measure the weight of the object to be 9.8 newtons. The force of gravity, or weight, is equal to mass times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So here's a check your understanding question. Let's see if you're getting this. Gravitational forces are on the moon are one-sixth that of the Earth. So what is the mass and what is the weight of a two kilogram person on Earth and on the moon? Why don't you pause the video now and give this some thought. And when you're ready to see the, hear the answer, press play. Okay, so let's think about this. Mass is independent of location, and it's measured in kilograms. So when it comes to the mass of this object, it's two kilograms on Earth, and it would be two kilograms on the moon as well. When it comes to the weight of the object, we're talking about the force of gravity. And the equation is F grab equal M times G. So the G is 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth. So if we multiply two kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, we get a weight, or force of gravity, of 19.6 newtons on Earth. Now on the moon, as mentioned, the mass is the same. But the weight is one-sixth that of the Earth because gravitational forces on the moon are one-sixth that of the Earth. So we take the 19.6 newtons and we divide it by six, and that gives us the weight of this object on the moon. It's 3.27 newtons. Okay, let's summarize. Mass is the amount of stuff present in the object. The unit of measurement would be the kilogram, abbreviated kg, and mass is a location independent quantity. It doesn't depend upon the gravitational environment. On the other hand, weight is the force of gravity that acts upon this mass. The units for weight would be the newton, abbreviated n, and weight is a location dependent quantity. It depends upon the gravitational environment. Now it's at this time in every video, I'd like to give you a ser an action plan, a series of next steps to kind of help you solidify the learning. But before I do, I'd like to ask you if you could help us out. First, if you like the video, why don't you hit the like button and maybe even subscribe to our channel and then tap on the bell so you can get notifications when new videos come out. Finally, there's a place down below to leave your questions or comments. Okay, here's the action plan. First of all, we have a series of apps known as the Minds on Physics apps. You can find them at our website. We have a link in the description section. If you were to get app number two, two one of the modules on that app is called Newton's Laws, and it's mission in L5. That is just a perfect follow-up to this lesson on mass versus weight. Second thing you could do is you head off to our website, you'll see the physics interactive sections. There's two interactives there that might be a, uh, a useful follow-up. One of them is called Your Weight on Other Planets, and the other is called The Value of G. Finally, there's a tutorial on our website. And in the tutorial, if you head to Newton's Laws and check out lesson two, there's a page there on types of forces that might be a useful reference if you need one. Whatever you do, we wish you the best of luck.